All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Oops, I got a little bit excited there. I'm just headbutting the microphone. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, so this is a color vertex attribute node, and we're using it inside of Blender Octane, and it's pretty easy to use. I won't take too much of your time, but I want to show you one thing that it could maybe bug out and it might cause you a couple of issues. So as you can see, I have a colored vertex attribute node. I've dropped it down. In the object data properties, you can see the color attribute here. It's called color. The American spelling. Yeah. Anyway, so this is linked to this. And if I quickly go into the vertex paint, we take a look in the viewport. It's, it's pretty much painted nice and easy. So there is a few things that can trick you up. So I'm going to set this up from the start just to quickly show you this. So what I'll do is I'll delete this vertex map and I'll just disconnect this because this can cause it to kind of can cause it to kind of mess up. Uh, so what we can do is we can quickly go into vertex painting. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new vertex map and I'll just call this test. So on the domain, I'll have vertex and I'll keep the data type as color. And I'll hit OK. And what I'll do is I'll just quietly paint in just, just for an example. So something like this. Nothing perfect. I'll then quickly jump back into my render view and we'll use a color vertex node. Now obviously we call this test in lower case and we can take the texture out and we can plug this to the albedo. Now this worked the first time. Sometimes it might not work and if you actually click on the set render color it'll actually refresh the viewport and it should work. Now from my understanding, I could be completely wrong here so don't hold me to it, but I think you can only have two color vertex attributes on the one object. So that is pretty much how you would use the color vertex attribute. It can be used for a lot of things. So just for example, I'll quickly jump back into vertex paint and I'll paint the whole model black. And let's say I want to use something like the dirt node. I actually want a little bit more control where the dirt lands. What I can do is I can then paint this white. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's paint this bit white and this bit white. And I come back into the object. Now, if I plug this back into the albedo, perfect. Then what I can do is I can drop down something like a dirt texture. And we'll plug this into the albedo as well. And this will use the radius map. So, we've got a test. I can put the strength up. And you can see we're actually painted white. This is where it's dark. So, that's one use case for using something like a color vertex attribute. And that's pretty much the tutorial. Anyway, do my favor, guys. Take care.